we haven't done this for a while, eh? Anyway, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do some 10 season simulation and in my own team, OR2 Racing, into 10 seasons. Um, please sure to, if you enjoy this, um, please smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, let's begin the video. The mid-season driver chasing as bad as Charles Leclerc went to Alfa Romeo and Carlos Sainz was a free agent, meaning that both Ferrari drivers from real life have been booted out and replacing them is returning Ferrari driver Sebastian Vettel, who's back at the team, and rookie Felipe Drogovic, which nobody expects to see. Alfa Tauri new lineup. Robert Schwartz made his debut. Along with him was um, Balci Bottas. Pierre Gasly went to Aston Martin. Yuki Tsunoda went to Williams. And Nicolas Latifi went to a free agent. And then Max Verstappen, of course, went on to beat David Coulthard to win the championship. Of course, I picked David Coulthard to um, be my teammate. And then the Constructors Rebel went on to win that. Moving on to Season 2. Uh, Paris, strangely enough, retired at the end of Season 1. Um, I decided to sign Carlos Sainz for the Ray Lucas career because I did feel sorry for him for Season 1. Um, Robert Schwartz was surprised he went to Red Bull, replacing Perez. Meaning that Guan Yuzhou went to Alfa Tauri. Nicholas Latifi's back in Formula 1 with Alfa Romeo. Along with Felipe Drogovic. Sonoda's now at Ferrari. Kevin Magnussen's now at Williams. And Charles Leclerc's at Haas. And we got our first one too as well, by the way, which was really enjoyable to see in second in season two. And of course, that was the season Carlos Sites won the drivers championship in season two, beating Verstappen by eleven points. It was he had a great second half of the season. He beated Verstappen nearly every race and absolutely holding him off to take the championship. I did the constructors. We won our first constructors championship, which is um very enjoyable to see. So moving on to season three, Fernando Alonso retires from Formula One, and Alfa Romeo, Al Alpine get a new lineup: Bottas and Robert Schwartzman. And Lance Stroll went to Alfa Tauri along with Esteban Ocon. Yuki Tsunoda is now at Aston Martin. Dan Tickton surprised he's at Red Bull. Pierre Gasly is back at Red Bull, which is great to see. Um, Oscar Piastri mid-season went to Al um sorry Alfa Romeo. Latifi, surprisingly, went to Ferrari, which is quite funny. I forgot Tickton was actually in Ferrari, actually, my bad. And then Tickton was a free agent. That was the mid-season driver change that happened. And, of course, season three, Carlos Sainz absolutely smashed the championship, nearly winning every race. And that now makes him a two-time champion. He absolutely crushed the driver's championship very easily. And by a margin of 144 points, it was unstoppable. And we absolutely ran away with it. As we won the championship with 666 points of the constructors. With McLaren finishing second. Ferrari somehow finished seventh. Which is a big surprise because the TV didn't do anything. Anyway, Vettel retired at the end of season three. But strangely enough, Lance Stroll. Which I'm a bit surprised about because he's 26. And he's not his youngest driver to retire from Formula 1 already. Which is very odd. Now, moving on, replacement. Lan Nicholas Latifi went to Alpha Tauri. Um, alongside him is Gerard de Ruvilla. He now makes his debut in Formula 1. Ferrari have now got Max Verstappen, which is an absolute brilliant transfer. In and now, alongside him is, again, Dan Tix is back at Ferrari. Yet again. Red Bull had Charles Leclerc. Yes, Charles Leclerc went to Red Bull. And that meant Haas got Esteban Ocon in their new team, and on the mid-season, Tixon was dumped to Alfa, Alfa Romeo, and Piastri was now in Ferrari. The dominance ended for IR2 Racing, and Lando Norris won the Drivers' Championship over Carlos Sainz. He won it by six points over him in the McLaren, as I was trained for P3. Oscar Piastri finished alone, with Verstappen finishing fifth, and in the Constructors, we won that just about ahead of McLaren, Red Bull, Ferrari, Mercedes were the top five ahead of Alpine, Williams, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri, and Aston Martin. No um, driver transfer markets happened, but mid season, the Tifi went to Alfa Romeo. Um, Esteban Ocon went to Alfa Tauri. Um, Dan Tictum ended up racing for Haas. So those were the mid season driver changes that happened um, during the season. 
And um, going into the Mexican Grand Prix, Carlos Sainz became a three-time champion in um in the fifth season. He I, again, he has been now a hundred rated and is winning championships. Now he has just been absolutely untouchable. He just about beat Lando Norris in the championship. Um, we of course won the constructors championship yet again, which is too powerful in the constructors. During that, Lewis Hamilton retired at the end of the fifth season, and now Bottas is now. Back at Mercedes, Valtteri at James, not again. And Dan Tickton went to Mercedes. That means Mercedes got a new lineup. And strangely enough, George Russell is not there. Meaning, George Russell must have retired along with Hamilton. Liam Lawson went to Alpine. And as well, on top of that, Richard Vashaw made his debut at, Al at Haas. Season 6, Carlos Sainz went on to win the Drivers' Championship over Max Verstappen. It was very close, but he did win in the end. McLaren went on to win the Constructors' Championship of Red Bull by four points in the end. Uh, there was no driver transfers, um, unfortunately. Carlos said he did win the Drivers' Championship right at the end of um, the sixth season, actually. Excuse me. Um, that was season five um, where Sainz won it. Uh, but he went on to win it again um, as well. On top of that, Mick Schumacher surprisingly retired at the end of the sixth season. And to replace him was Oscar Piastri. Meaning Ferrari, as you can see, he got a new lineup. Albon went to Ferrari. Meaning Max Verstappen is not there. And alongside him is Robert Schwartzman. Ferrari have a new driver lineup. And you couldn't believe where Max Verstappen was. He went to Mercedes. And that meant Mercedes also had a new driver lineup as well. They had Theo Podcher. In their driver's seat as well. Jury Vips also entered up Formula 1 as their rookie as he went Alpine. Christian Lungard also went to Alfa Romeo, also making his new star in the debut. Felipe Drogovic went to Alfa Tauri. And then Williams had Esteban Ocon in their team. And Williams actually got a new lineup. And Kevin Magnussen was still there. He had the lineup still there. He joined them. Dan Tixon was now a free agent again. And also a free agent now was Liam Lawson. But during the mid-season driver market, Gerard de Ruvler went back to join Alf uh, to Alpine. Mercedes brought back Tixon in their driver lineup. I don't know what Mercedes were playing at. Thierry Podcher is now a free agent. And Yuri Vips enters Alfa Romeo. And also now, Liam Laws is back and races for Alpha Tauri. Bonkers stuff as Christian Lungard ends up being a free agent. And um, Valtteri Bottas as well. And Lucas Latifi actually went to Alpine. This craziness was all well, madness. As Bottas also went to Mercedes again. Ticked him once again. Free agent. If I, or maybe I'm just repeating it again. He was a free agent. And along with Christian Lungard, he's back at Formula 1. However, Lando Norris ended the dominance for Season 7 as he went on to win his second Drivers' Championship over sight and McLaren went on to win the Constructors' Championship. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get to 300 and I'll catch you all later. Peace. Again, see you again.